Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today we're going to be breaking the world typing record through code in Python. I'd just like to say this isn't going to be me typing away but today we're just going to create a typing test bot and the bot will essentially just type out words and give you a pretty high kind of word per minute count. So I just thought it'd be kind of a nice little video to do, just a fun kind of tutorial for you to kind of see what Python is capable of and just something really really simple because the code behind this is so incredibly simple um, and I'm really looking forward to kind of showing you what you can do uh, with Python. So firstly what I'd like to say is this video actually was inspired by a comment that got left on my previous video which was a spam bot where you send like entire scripts of Shrek um, and other films to your best friends and Sumil Malik, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly Sumil, but he essentially commented and said oh I, I did this, I, I kind of manipulated your code and I put it into a typing test bot and I got you know this many words per minute and I thought I'm definitely going to try and make a tutorial on how you can do that for other people because it's just kind of a cool thing um, to do. I understand I'm a bit of a tech nerd and a bit of a coding nerd so this may not be that cool to other people but I just thought it was kind of cool when I managed to write a little bit of code and do it so thank you Sumil for recommending it to me and we're going to kind of get stuck in and show you how you can break the world record by creating a typing test bot. Okay, so we are in PyCharm and I've created a Python file called Typing Test Bot and this is essentially where we're going to be doing the coding but we're not going to do the coding just yet, we've got to kind of do a few things before we can start writing code. So the first thing you need to do is go to this website here and essentially it's a place where you can test how quick you can type but you can add your own custom text and that's kind of the, the premise behind this video is you need to be able to add the text in that you're going to write. So this is a really good website that you can go to. There are other websites so if you fancy checking out other websites that um, do the same then you're more than welcome. This was just one, one of the first that popped up when I said kind of create your own typing test. So this is what I'm going to use today and essentially what you'll do is you'll input your own text in here and then you'll create your typing test as can be seen here and then you'll type it away. So this is great. We're going to create our own typing test now and then I'll show you what we can do after that to get Python to type it out. So I am taking some text from this article here. Now if you recognise, that is actually me there. <laughs> this was an article that the UK Space Agency released and it's just about my internship that I did over summer. So the idea is I'm just going to copy this text from an article um, and we're just going to first copy the first paragraph. We're going to put it into the typing test here and then I'm just going to copy the next bit. So you can do the same, take any kind of article you want, any text, you can write your own, get a story. I'm going to put it all in one paragraph just because I'm going to type in the whole paragraph. So here I have, this is my text, this is what I'm going to write. Again, you can go onto any article you want and you can copy text, you can get it from anywhere you want uh, and just copy it into this here. So we have this here. Now, when I create this typing test, I want my Python bot to type out this text. So what we're going to do is we're going to first create a text file with this text in. So I'm going to highlight all the text, we're going to copy it, we're going to move on to the desktop and the way that you create a text file, now this may be different in Windows, but this is how you do it on Mac. You're just going to type in text and text edit pops up. We're going to click enter. Okay, now I'm going to click new document. Okay, and I'm going to paste all of that text in there. So this here is the text that we obviously need to type out when we move on to here where our typing test is. So we're just going to save this and I'm going to save it as text and we're going to click enter. Okay, so that's there. This is our kind of text here. We'll leave it there for now. This here is saved as a text file and notice it's saved onto my desktop and I'm going to just put .txt just so we know it's definitely a text file. Okay, now something that's worth remembering is this has to be a text file. So when you are creating um, a file, make sure that it says .txt at the end. Now this here on my desktop is the folder that I'm currently actually coding in. If you can see here, it says code of the future and there it says, when I hover over it, it says desktop. So this is the folder that I'm coding in. Now what's really worth remembering, and this is something that's important, this text file that you've created here with the words that you would want to type out, this has to be in the folder that you're coding in. So this is the folder here. So I'm just gonna pop my text file into here, and then when I swipe over to my coding, we notice that the text file is indeed in this folder. So if I double click, here we go. It's obviously all in one line, but there is the text file. So we'll just cross off that for now. 
So what we have done is we have created this text file here. It has the text that we want. And then on this typing test, we have the text here that we're going to eventually write out. So that's, so that's good. We've got this text here, text file, and we, we've got the same text that we're going to be tested on when we type. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to create a bot that will type out this entire text here and obviously then type it out when we go to create the typing test. So this code is so incredibly easy and it's just, it's just a really nice kind of way to introduce you to the PyAuto GUI module again. I have done a previous video, the one that I mentioned it earlier on in this video, that also uses PyAuto GUI and I've had so many messages from people asking me to do like cool things with PyAuto GUI so this is another one of those. So the first thing as always that we're going to do is we're going to import the relevant modules and we're just going to import time and we're going to oh, time and we're going to import PyAuto GUI. So we've imported those two modules and these are the modules that we're going to need when coding. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say time.sleep and we're going to give Python three seconds. Now what this time.sleep here does is the Python file will essentially sleep for three seconds and once it's finished those three seconds it will continue to do whatever we type in here. Okay, so we'll just say Python file sleeps for three seconds. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get Python to open the text file we have. So it's going to open this text file. And the way we do that is we're going to say text equals open. And then inside this open bracket, you're going to put in quotation marks the name of your text file. So mine would be text.txt and notice it pops up there. Perfect. So we've opened the text file. Now what we're going to say is we're going to say for each line in text, we're going to say Pi auto GUI dot typewrite each line. Now you may wonder well why are we doing it for each line and this is just because if you input your text file, so I'll just open mine again, obviously you see mine is just one line so I don't really need the for loop in this sense but you may end up doing something like this and adding a space without realising and just doing the for loop here just kind of accounts for any time that you may end up putting an extra extra line in so obviously this will just do the one line for in my case because i just have one line but if you have multiple lines it will account for that here and that is literally the code that is all that is all the code that we need so here i'll just say this is opening the text file and then this is just typewriting this is just typewriting the file okay i'm going to save that and just cross off that so what happens now is when i run this python file i'll have three seconds to move on to where i want to be and in fact i'm going to change that to five just because i don't know how quick my reflexes are and how quick this this typing test here works but i'm going to click run we've got five seconds to move to where we want to be and get python to start typing it so this bit here literally just types it and that's exactly what we need so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say create the typing test here. Okay, now we've created the typing test and it just says click start to begin the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click run. Right, we have five seconds to start the test. I'm going to click start. We need to type the words in here. My hands are here and watch what happens. <laughs> and we're already on 540 words per minute. How, honestly, this, I've had so much fun with this. It's actually ridiculous. <laughs> And that's honestly what I get for being such a tech nerd, honestly. It's literally just typing it for me. I'm not, I'm not even doing anything right now. And there you go. You, it says you've had 100% accuracy and your words per minute were 534. Now, if I type in um, world record typing speed, yeah, world record typing speed, 212 words per minute. And we have just done double that. So... <laughs> I know it's kind of it's obviously cheating and it's not the same but what's kind of cool with this is you can kind of send a picture of like whoa like you know I've just broken the world record obviously you haven't but what I'm kind of hoping to do after this video is maybe try and incorporate it so that once you do run your python file this python file here and you know it starts typing my next step is to freeze kind of the keyboard so that you can type and then people will think you're actually typing so you could literally just be going like this on your laptop 
and your keyboard would be frozen so it wouldn't be interfering with anything that's being typed because obviously if you run this python file and then start typing away the keys will still be pressed and therefore it will mess up what's being written so my next idea for the for the next video is to kind of do it whereby you can type along with it i'm gonna look into that um which i think would be really cool but that is literally <laughs> i know i keep smiling and i keep being really enthusiastic and happy about it but it's just because i think this is so like i just think this is so cool and thank you again to sue mill for recommending this to me i think um it's been a bit of fun playing around with it and that's what i want to do on this channel is just show you some really cool things you can do with python you know play around with it have fun with it and that's what i think is so important when you are a beginner or no matter where you are in your kind of stage of coding is enjoying it and i find that a lot of people kind of give up because they don't enjoy it and that's why i'm trying to make these videos where they're fun you know they're engaging you can kind of do some really cool things like this like go to your friends and say well i've just broken the world record for typing obviously <laughs> you haven't but um we've created a typing test bot that does and i just think it's it's really quite cool and um i hope you know i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you've had a bit of fun with it too it's quite a good one to prank your friends anyway if your friends are all tech nerds <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video if you did then please like subscribe and comment i'm hoping to do some more kind of fun tutorials that you can get stuck into as a beginner or just anyone who is learning python or anyone who knows python and please check out all of my social media i put so many polls on my instagram and tiktok's been going pretty well recently as well since my last um kind of video where i did a tiktok like i had literally no views and now i'm getting i had one that had like 60,000 views so i'm pretty happy with that but go check out all of my social media i do a lot of kind of interactive stuff with my followers on there just to know what content people want to see on this channel and yeah if you like the video then please like subscribe and comment and i will see you all in the next video